Hey guys, welcome back to the Pass Money Plan. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about this topic right here and sharing some stories. Uh, immediately thought of a few, but Kirby, I'm sure you got plenty of these answering phone calls in the bathroom. <laughs> Very professional. So, what's like the most, uh, I guess, rememberable or memorable? time where you call or you answered a call in the bathroom or something like that oh uh, well before we get before we get into that um well i believe what this gentleman was trying to say is if you're not taking calls anywhere at inopportune times i mean every everywhere you go you always hear somebody saying oh i'm i mean i'm in real estate i mean real estate agents you know they might do one deal every you know five years or something like that. Maybe it's real estate agent. Maybe they say they investor. Maybe they say they have rental properties. But those same people that you that you hear about, they're always out doing stuff. They're always talking about, oh, what about family time? And what about this? And what about that? When you're really embedded into real estate, when you're really searching for deals, you're going to get some of the craziest calls at some of the craziest hours. And being in real estate is not, oh, I'll do it when I have free time. You just vacation in a real estate realm. When you're in real estate, you live and breathe real estate. I mean, I didn't have calls in some of the crazy places. Bathroom, heck yeah. And I know you have the German folks out there like, oh, that's so unsanitary. If I want the deal done and I need to call, I'm answering it wherever. I mean, I've been uh one time. One time I'm I'm uh in a restroom, I'm in a restroom and I get a call and I'm like, and then you know, you hear other people uh coming in, public restroom too. You hear other people coming in. And I was like, and the call was very important. And it was just like, I was just like, oh the hell well, I'm taking a call. And then you know, people probably looking like, oh my God. Then I'm I'm you know cognizant of what people think. And so they're like, oh my God. He answered the phone talking, and I got to talk loud, louder because, you know, it's echoey and stuff like that. And I know people was thinking all kind of crazy stuff, but I didn't care. I mean, I've, I've taken calls. I've, I almost missed many of flights for taking calls about real estate. Uh, remember, I remember I was telling you I was headed to Europe uh, one day. There's not in real estate investing, period. Um, I almost missed a flight. This is right when COVID was hitting the United States hard. And it was about to shut down everything. And I was leaving out to fly to Europe though that Friday where the market was crashing. And I'm trying to make so many uh buys and trades, uh, and you know, doing my trades, get my trades in, and it was about to close the door on me. But I wasn't gonna get on the plane because I knew the you know airport Wi-Fi wasn't gonna work. So I just sit there and did the trades and then the the bridge lady or flight attendant lady was like, we're gonna close the door, you gotta come now. And I had like two more trades to do, but I got them executed. And thank God it started backing up in the airplane so that, uh, you know, it was a little delay. But I almost missed a flight just because I I live this life. It's not something I just do lastly free on the weekend or something like that. It's an everyday journey, uh, everyday journey. Like when I say I look at real estate deals every day, I look at real estate deals every day. I do not go to sleep without at least spending you know, 20 to 40 minutes looking at real estate deal. Will not do it. Right. Yeah. What you got? No, I think that was a good point at the beginning is, you know, people have to make that kind of commitment to it. If you're, if you want to take anything serious on like any kind of financial journey, you have to be 100% committed, not just when you feel like it or not just when it's convenient to you, you have to be committed. You have to, you know, leave your birthday parties, leave the holiday events. You have to, answer calls at weird times it's just it's just what you have to do if you want the if you want to get the deal done but i specifically remembered uh one and this was hilarious because it was just like the most uncomfortable weirdest and like i mean the guy on the phone had no idea you know where i'm at but i literally was taking a shower and like so my shower has like this like little shelf thing where i could put the phone so i could see it like lit up so i'm taking a shower and i'm like crap so it was the insurance guy to because i was it was a property that needed some work done in the first one so i was like hoping i could get the insurance uh through because that was like one of the 
kind of factors is to see whether or not I could actually get insurance. So the guy calls me. And so I shut off the shower. I'm like, I'm just like wet. And I just answer it in the shower. And he's going on for like 19 minutes. And I'm just like cold, shaky. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, sounds good. <laughs> and, but, you know, it was like it was necessary to in order to uh, to actually, you know, take that phone call. But that was the one that I remembered. I just thought it was funny because I'm literally over here in the dark shaking and everything. But, um, but yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, go I, ahead. Yeah, no, no, I've had times where, I mean, I've, I've left out of church for investment deal um, because it was just, it was just time consuming. Um, I've left out of a funeral. Um, I've, I've been, <laughs> hey, hey, I mean, this, this person is gone now. I mean, they don't <laughs> want me, this is what is how I justified it. They don't want me to continue on with life. And get get the next thing done. So I, I walked out of funerals, and then I walked out, and then I had the phone call and came back in. I mean, of course, people gave me the dirty look, but uh, but of course, my phone was on vibrate. It wasn't like it was ringing loud. It was on vibrate, and I just got up. I don't know. Maybe when I beelined out of there, maybe they thought I was grieving. Maybe they what's the name? But I came back, and I I mean, I came back within like you know two or three minutes, and then I was looking normal, and I just said, "Ow." Oh, and then I saw a couple of dirty looks, but I don't care. I I didn't care. Well, like I said, I mean, this, this is my life. I mean, I don't I don't take time off for nothing. I don't take time off for nothing. And I mean, it's you know, some phone calls are a little longer than others. Um, I mean, I remember being at one of my son's football games and getting a call, and literally, I'm watching a game. In a you know crowd noise and all that, so I go to like the top of the bleachers where nobody's at, and I'm literally watching the game, having this call for like twenty or thirty minutes while the game's going on. That's just that's just what happened. I mean, I mean somebody's gonna say, "Oh, I'm a dead be dead for that," but I'm just giving you instances of what I did and what I don't. I don't um I don't look at it as I'm a weekend warrior um when it comes to investing. I don't. Just do it in my spare time. A lot of people do investing in general in their spare time and they think they're doing something. I mean, like, you know, like I always talk about is do the homework. You can't do the homework and be it. I mean, not do the homework and think that you're going to get it done. Like when it comes to investing in stocks, I mean, I mean, you see how I do it. I, I go all into the nuts and bolts. I want to know who the CEO is, what he's doing. Is he buying shares? Uh, you know, cash flow. I'm in the cash flow statements. I'm in the financial statements. I'm looking at, you know, the real uh, supply and demand of the company. I'm not just sitting there looking like, oh, I heard this on TV. Let me just go buy this. But to do that, it takes time, energy, and effort to get it done. I'm not taking advice from other people besides Warren Buffett. <laughs> I'm not taking advice from people just to, be like, oh, I'm an investor because I, I bought one penny stock and I'm going on. It's going to take it to the moon. When somebody asks me any question about anything that I own, either real estate, business-wise, or in the stock market, I know the ins and outs of it. And that's what you have to do. You have to put in that work to get it done. But yeah, I've, I've answered calls at some very inopportune times and places to be answering calls, but that's what you got to do. Yeah, absolutely. It's absolutely necessary. But with all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below if you guys invest in real estate, if you've taken any weird calls or calls in weird places. Uh, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.